Hey, howdy, hey, my name's Astrovex. How you guys doing? And this is the Quincy Music Vegas Telecaster guitar. Now, followers of my channel know that I have a lot of really modern sort of Ibanez and Schecters and these 24 fret whammy bar shred machines that I do all my sort of wanky guitar on. And I really wanted something that was simple and classic and just something for clean rhythm and blues. And I was looking around for ages, different makes, different models, things like that. And then this company, uh, Quincy Guitars, they actually sent me an email and they said they see my channel and they want to send me one of their guitars and I was like you got anything in the Telecaster department and apparently they did and this is awesome gold sparkly gold Telecaster so I've been playing it all day yesterday and today and I'm just trying to get a feel for it because it's very different to the kind of guitars that I normally use like I said I used to these like 24 fret whammy bar things and locking nuts and tremolos and humbucker crazy pickups and distortion and doing all the Steve Vai stuff but I really wanted something that was just simple and this fits that perfectly like, it is indicative of what a Telecaster was in the 50s, 60s sort of style. That sort of ashtray bridge and the single curl pickups. And uh, the biggest thing for me getting used to was this, um, you got 21 frets, which is like foreign to me. It is so bizarre to, not, to run out of frets, but it's not, it, it sort of inspires me in a way to write more constructively, which is cool. And it's also got a Canadian maple neck, Canadian beaver woody, eh? that's cool, eh? And we've also got a maple fretboard, which I'm not used to at all because it's much brighter than what I'm used to. This sort of, it's got this twang to it. You're not gonna hear it because it's not plugged in right now. But um, it's got this, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like a brighter, more colorful, I don't know, it just sounds brighter as opposed to Rosewood and Ebony, which have this darker feel to them. This is much more sparkly, which is kind of indicative of the sparkly body. It's got a string through body, which is very important for, you know, obviously tuning stability and resonance and things like that. Resonance is very important to me when it comes to electrics because you want to be able to, you know, even if you're not plugged in, you still want to have that sort of feel of the body resonating through your hands and into your body. I think that's very, you know, indicative of connecting to music. And the neck is also a sort of a C shape. It's got that modern C shape, which is kind of similar to what I have when I use Ibanez stuff, but it's not quite like a D shape, like a Gibson, where it's really fat and I'm not used to it. So I feel like this glides really well. Uh, the pickups are these Al Nickel ones, these single coil Al Nickel ones. I've never had a single coil on the bridge before, which was very new to me. And I've also, I found out that ceramic pickups tend to be definitely brighter in delivery, like humbuckers and the way they're wound and stuff. And then Alnico ones are, they're much warmer in delivery. And uh, like I said, I got demos in the background of this so you can see the difference. The body for being not so sparkly and stuff is obviously bass wood, and I'm used to that. I've, I've had that for ages. Got this nice sort of like nice black quilt going around the edge of it, which is really cool. I like that a lot, and it just feels really head not heavy built, but like heavy duty. I feel like it doesn't feel light. It's got a lot of resonance and sustain to it when I'm playing, which is very important. Obviously, the hardware is chrome and all the stuff like that. It's got a three-way selector, which is handy for getting various tones. I've been keeping it in the middle most of the day just because I really like that balance that the two single coils have. And obviously a tone control and a volume control, which is it's a very simple guitar, and that's exactly what I wanted, but it offers so much in terms of playability and versatility, which is awesome.
obviously it's got a part where you can adjust the truss rod, but there, even the headstock is exactly like what a Telecaster is. They've like, no, like they've got so accurate with this, and for the price, which is, if you look on the website, I'll leave in the description, it's one seven nine. <laughs> I'm so impressed. It's ridiculous. Uh, like, how did you get the build quality that good for? for so low, I don't understand. It's very, very surprising. I'm definitely gonna keep my eye on this company. Obviously, I got the gold one because, I mean, come on, look at it. And I think next month, I think it is, if you look on their website, they've probably got more info about it there, but it's, they're gonna do colors like in green, they're gonna do left-handed ones, they're gonna do ones in red and silver and blue and all these other cool colors. So that'll be really interesting to see. And this was such a surprise to me when this came in the mail yesterday. And actually, uh, can I just add something? This is probably the most well-protected and well-packaged guitar I've ever received in the mail. I mean, look at this. Th this was the all the stuff that came in to put this in a box just to ship it to me. And it stayed in tune all the way here. It stayed intonated. It's better, it was better protected than my Ibanez gem and any guitar I've got back there. Which is, I didn't expect them to go the extra mile to make sure that it was protected. They even gave it, even had my name on the box, which is kind of a first for me. But seriously, if you guys want to check out Quincy Guitars and this awesome Telecaster, which I thought was a lot more than when I checked the actual price tag, I thought it was going to be somewhere in the 400, 500 range, but this feels so well built, so well constructed, so, like, obviously a lot of time and effort goes into these, and it's not just something slapped together just because. It's a tally, try and copy a tally. They've actually got every little nook and cranny down. It's great. Oh, and I gotta mention before I finish that I've been using these 19 music straps for ages and Quincy are actually, um, they're like in association with them, they're like they're partnered. And I had no idea that they made these because I've been using these since last year because they're great. The way that they go into the strap pin is a very clever idea of keeping it so tight that I never feel like it's gonna come away because I've had straps in the past and things like that where they just, they fray and they come out and they fall out and when you're on stage or you're playing with friends it's embarrassing and you don't want to damage your guitar because you've dropped it because the strap broke on it. And now, you know, I've tried loads of straps. I've tried Planet Waves, I've tried Fender ones, I've tried a Dimaggio one, it was like a strap-on clicking one and, you know, that came apart. But this one, I got this one of these for Christmas and my girlfriend got me one for Christmas and it's stayed solid and I love it. And also at the time I didn't know that Quincy Guitars was actually partnered with 19 Music so when I said I'd be happy to review one of their guitars and they sent me it, they actually sent me a bunch of, of a guitar straps, which is awesome! I love these, they're so well built. Like obviously they got this Tetris one, obviously they've looked at my channel and they know that I do a lot of video game guitar cover stuff. And I love it, I love the colour, I love the feel of them, they're very strong. Got this really nice sort of quilted forest one, which is awesome, and it feels very sort of vintage, very, very strong. And the fake leather, the faux leather, you know what I mean? And I think I'm gonna give my girlfriend this one to go on her guitar because she likes the look of it. <laughs> and obviously we got this sort of like snakeskin one here, which is, it's not real snakeskin because that would be unfair for all the snakes out there. And one of the coolest ones is this sort of Joe Satriani style one because I'm a big fan of Joe Satriani and when they saw it, it one that I was wearing in another YouTube video that I had that they thought they just sent me some and it was great. So I really recommend checking out Quincy Guitars and 19 Music. I'll leave the links in the description. Quincy Guitars is obviously their own makeup stuff and they do everything from clean guitars to rock stuff to I think a few super strats here and there, some acoustic stuff, some lap steel stuff, some ukuleles, things like that, basses, fretless basses. They have an eight string that I'm really interested in. Look at that! I need that! And obviously 19 Music is obviously more of the accessory stuff. They do things like percussion things, patch cables, guitar leads, guitar cases, that sort of thing, ukulele straps, and you know, obviously straps, because they just saw like loads of them, and they're awesome. They're really well built for the price. I feel like they're very reliable, which is awesome. So if you're thinking of getting a sort of a Telecaster, but don't want to pay out the nose for a really expensive custom Relic Fender one, but you really want to get something that's very associated with 50s Tele style stuff, I would really recommend something like this. Go check out their website, go look at their guitars. Like I said, they're coming in different colors. They do neon guitars as well. They do three quarter guitars. There's something for everyone on there. And I wish I heard of them sooner because I'm definitely gonna get more stuff from them in the future. So that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like. And if you really liked it, I guess you could favorite or subscribe or share with all your friends. So that was that. My name's Astrobex and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, I love you, bye.